What if I told you that to be a successful farmer doesn't mean that you need to spend money on expensive and heavy technology and equipment like tractor, plow, wheel loaders, and so on. Don't let the pictures or the farm gurus that you see on YouTube every day scare you from pursuing your passion. I know that most of us have a great passion for agriculture, but we always look at ourselves, we look into our pockets, and we think that we don't have enough to be able to go into farming. Today, I am going to share with you how you, a beginner, needs to invest your money because it is very important that as you're going into agriculture, you invest your initial capital very, very wisely. And that is why today in this video, I am going to share with you three most important technology and tools that I use at my farm that have been super helpful and some of them I even paid nothing for it. Others I paid so small that has been a tremendous change and contribution to my success. If this is something that you're interested in hearing, then stay with me because it's going to be a short video, but trust me, you are going to benefit from it because I'm going to tell you things that you don't need to waste your money on as a beginner farmer and tell you the actual things that you really need. And this is going to change your life because most of these things on this three list have changed my life and the success of my business. But before we go on, I want to say a big thank you to all of you in the Semen Share family that have been supporting this channel, sharing it with your friends and helping us grow. I also want to take the advantage to say welcome to the Semen Share farm if today is the first time you're watching any video from us. Here at Semen Share Farm, we talk about innovative and creative way of farming in Africa. I believe that it is time that we, the youth, take up the mantle and change the narrative and how farming is done and also seen in Africa. Yes, I know our forefathers and, and our mothers and fathers have done it in a way that they haven't really seen an impact in our life. It is time for us to use the technology and the new innovation around us to make farming in Africa more recreative and attract more people so that we can grow together and feed our continent and save our children from hunger. So if this is something you would like to hear more of, then go ahead and smash that subscription button because this is the right channel for you to get the motivation you need to get the exposure into real agriculture and innovative way of farming. But that is not what we are talking about today. Even though I can talk about innovation for the entire video. Yes, today we are going to talk about a little bit of innovation. But today I'm sharing with you my top three things that has been a lifesaver for me at the farm and what I believe that every farmer needs to have it without spending no money or the minimal amount of money. So let's dive right into it because today I am super excited to share with you one of the innovative tool and technology that I use at my farm and will highly, highly recommend that you use it as well. So stay tuned and watch this video to the end because you don't want to miss this. Last year, I spoke about how I want us to innovate the agriculture industry this year. And the theme for this year is actually about innovation. And that is why I'm taking the first step to share with you how I am innovating. So let me stop talking and go to the number one technology that I use at my farm to help me innovate and be successful as a farmer. That too is called EOX Crop Monitoring Software. EOX crop monitoring software. Hold your horses and let me talk about this software because I am about to blow your mind. These are five reasons that I think every farmer needs to use this EOX crop monitoring software. You're probably going like, okay, now Fred is taking us into technology. We are farmers. Yes, it is time that we farmers start thinking about innovation, as I always say. And that's why I want you to hold your horses so that I can explain this software to you. So this software that I'm talking about, which is EOX crop monitoring software, it actually uses satellites. So satellite hanging in the sky to monitor basically your land and your crop. Did that sink in very well? 
What this software does is it uses satellites, right, hanging in the sky to be able to monitor your land and your crops. What does that mean for us guys? That means that I can sit in the US here and buy a land in Ghana, in Abuja, in Kigali, in Nairobi, wherever in the world and be able to log into this website by just going to the link that I'm going to attach in the comments or in the description below for you guys to just click on it and go to this website. Once you sign up for it, I've already told you that it is free if you have less than, you know, 300 hectares. So no problem because I know most of you actually have lands that are below 300 hectares. So you can take advantage of all these freebies that I'm going to share with you today. So basically you log in and you are able to put in your GPS coordinate of the land. So tell your people in Ghana to, or in Nigeria, wherever it is, to send you the GPS coordinate when they visit the land. Once they send it to you and you put it in and you log in, the satellite is able to capture your land. And guess what you're able to see? You're able to see how the crops are doing on this land. So for example, when I was buying my land in Serkwa, all what I had to do is to put the coordinates in there and it really marked the, the land for me. Once I was able to mark my land, I went back right into like three years, four years and see to see what was happening on the land. So I went back to the dry season. How was the crop looking? I went back to the rainy season and saw how the crop were looking. And then when I compare it, I'm able to see that, okay, a corner or a portion of this land the crops are always red. Why? So I sent my team to go and check it. And guess what they found? That that place was full of rocks, which means that that portion, I couldn't use it for, for crop farming, right? So I sat in the US here and I was able to see that, right? And that is why you guys, if you can remember, I apportioned some part of my land to use for the goat ranch because I knew even being in the US that this land, I can use this portion. What does that tell us guys? That means that we can sit anywhere and buy land and be able to see what is on the land or the nature of land that we are buying. Because I know most of us make the mistake of buying land that we can't even use it for farming. So then what was the purpose of it? This software will solve that problem for you. The second reason why I recommend this software to you is also the fact that it can save you a lot of money that you might not even think of. Let's take it this way. So I planted corn this year. And I, you guys know that I've been in the state for almost about five months now, which is God, I can't wait to go back home. But the crops that I planted, because I wasn't there, when I log into this software, I'm able to see which portion of the crops that is not doing well from the US, right? And be able to tell my guys, okay guys, let's apply fertilizer to this portion of the land or let's go and spray this portion of the land because it's been attacked by, you know, pesticides. Or if you can even see the difference between weeds and the crops as well. So basically what this gives us is an opportunity to manage our farm or buy a land anywhere that we are with visibility onto what is going on there. Isn't this mind blowing? I know some of you are like, Fred, I don't know about computer. I don't know what, you, what you're talking about. Just click on the link that I'm going to attach to the comments and also in the description. Go to this website, create a profile and just put in your land GPS. Tell your people in Ghana to send it to you. Put it in there and you will see what I'm talking about. Again, since it's also satellite monitored, it is able to present to you almost real-time data of what is happening at your farm. Yes, almost real-time data, guys. So let's say if I want to see the type of crops or how, how well my crops are doing today, I'm able to log in and see exactly maybe three hours, four hours ago, a current picture of how my maize crops are doing guys and this is what I call innovation in the farming industry there is no more excuses for us to say we can do this you know the people are lying to us I don't know what is happening I don't have visibility if you wanted the secret this is how I manage my farm and my resources 
right from the US here in Ghana and that's why I'm recommending it to you the good news is that this is gonna be free for most of you out there because your land is not up to 300 hectares and you will be able to enjoy all these benefits that comes with this software as you can see I can go on and on and on and share all the cool features about this um, software with you guys but as I promise you I want to share with you guys three most important tools, equipment, or technology that have made my, my journey as a farmer a successful one. So I can't stay only on one, but if you want me to do a specific video, go to my computer and walk you guys through all the various features that you can see or use this software for, go in the comments below and type EOX Crop Monitoring. EOX crop monitoring. The more people that write in the comment will tell me that yes, this is one of the things that you guys are really interested and I'll be able to do a video and walk you guys through step by step on all the features that are there. Do you know that it also tells you when it's gonna rain? Or you can actually compare how the rain pattern was last year versus this year or two years ago or three years ago. Guys, I need to stop myself because this is the coolest thing in the market and it's it's helped me so much, right? And um, you guys go in there and comment if you want me to do more video about this and I'll be happy to do that for you guys. But I want to move on to the next second thing that has helped me succeed as a farmer in Africa. And that is a simple tricycle. I think most of us know but this tricycle that you see here is a game changer, guys. You have no idea. So as a beginner farmer, right, sometimes you think about buying a tractor, buying, you know, um, a trailer and so on and so forth. To me, one of the second most useful tool or equipment or technology that I've had at my farm is a tricycle. This tricycle is also not that expensive right it is about 12,000 um you know cities which is about two thousand dollars in ghana and once you buy this guys it's gonna help you with logistic i know most of us you know our farm is a bit out of town in terms of logistic fetching water when we have issue with our pump um if we go and buy food if we decide to go take our corn to the corn mill for um the chicken it carries us there if we need firewood whatever even if we want to carry um, livestock from our farm to the town or to bring goods from town to to the farm it has done all the work and to be honest with you we've actually bought two of this tricycle over the past two years because I wanted to buy one for the poultry farm and also buy one for the cattle farm. Even in the beginning of my cattle farm, we will go into town and pick cassava peels and so on. And all what we would need was this tricycle to go into people's house and basically pick cassava peels and drive it straight to our farm to be able to feed our livestock with. Sometimes we need to carry water from the source of our water to the cattle ranch and we will do exactly that sometimes we have to go and pick some materials for construction it will it's what we are using right somebody might say why don't you just get you know a small pickup the fuel consumption and again as a, as a beginner farmer you don't want to invest your money in a pickup right that is like times five of the price of this so why would you do that so if you can afford it this is the second technology or two, whatever you want to call it, that I have at the farm that has been super, super helpful. And my team will testify to it. Everybody learned how to drive it. I learned how to drive it the moment I bought it, right? And we could all use it. It's a basic thing that will take you from, from the farm to the town. So if you want to bring any goods, guys, I can tell you how useful this tricycle has also been for us. This is my recommendation number two for you if you want to succeed and be able to have something to move around um you know logistically and doing your operations as a farmer so guys the final must have two or equipment or technology whatever you can, you want to call it on my list is the chamfan machine that i use to generate electricity at my farm just like me and i know most of you 
because of price of land in the community, we tend to buy land a bit further away from the community. And one of the most important things that we sacrifice for cheap price of land is the source of electricity. And without electricity, there will be very little machines and so on that you can use. And that is why I have chosen to add this chamfer machine as the final and third must have two at your farm. If you're a young farmer thinking about going into farming and you wanna, you, you know, you wanna invest into something, this is definitely one of the things that is highly recommendable on my three list of things that every farmer needs to have. Why do I say this? So for example, if you're a poultry farmer and you wanna be able to produce light at your poultry farm, right? this chamfer machine is going to help you do that. If you want to drill water at your farm, you need an electric pump to be able to pump the water from the ground to your poly tank. Chamfer machine is going to help you do that. If you are a cattle farmer and you want to bring Baylor chaff cutter machine to be able to process your food, the chamfer machine is what is going to empower it. Most importantly, if you want to start building a community in your farm and have people live there, in these morning days, people need electricity to charge their phone and even even to call you, you know, when they have an issue or if anything happens. So you need to provide some sort of power for them to charge. And ever since I introduced this machine to my farm, I've had, you know, Yaya moved in, different people moved in, and now my farm is looking more lovely. And I am thinking about building another container house at the farm so that I can also go and save it. All because I know I will have right internet and I will also have power. And thanks to this charm fan and also the solar um, panel that the government is working on. But the charm fan is what I started with and I know that it has been a game changer at my farm. So if you're a young farmer and you're thinking about three most important things that you want to consider, number one, Check out the EOX crop monitoring software. The link is in the description or in the comments. Click on it. All what you need to do is to sign up with an email, log in, ask your team in Ghana to give you the GPS coordinates, put it in there, and you will see the cool features that you guys can use to help you save money and also improve and help you innovate at your farm. The second thing on my list was a tricycle, which is basically a game changer in terms of logistics, moving things around in the farm, moving up and down, using it as transportation of goods and, and even yourself. It, it is very helpful and it's also affordable and very, very cheap to operate. The final thing is what I just talked about, which is the chamfer machine, which I use to generate power to my farm, which has also be a game changer. I hope these three things have taught you something. And if you have any question or wants to talk to me, go ahead in the description button. I have a link there that you can schedule a time to speak to me one-on-one -on -one for every detailed uh, information that you need. And as I said, comment EOX, crop monitoring. If you want me to do like a screen sharing and walk you guys through all the innovative features about this website that you can use um, at your farm. I know some of us are not tech survey, so when we talk about anything technology, it scares you, but this is a game changer. And I think everybody needs to make use of it or take opportunity of it. And therefore, if you need me to do a more detailed uh, video on that, comment below and I'm happy to do that for you. Thank you guys so much for making the time and watching this video. I appreciate your time and I hope that I'm being impactful and I'm pushing you guys towards the right direction. Thank you and I will see you next week with another video.